Tensions have once again flared up between South Korea and North Korea. On November 2nd, the third day of the US-South Korea military drills, North Korea fired 10 missiles. One short-range ballistic missile landed in South Korean territory for the first time since the 1950-53 Korean War. And Seoul responded by launching its own missiles. South Korea fired three air-to-surface missiles into the sea to the north of the two countries' maritime boundary, northern limit line. 오늘 08시 51분부터 탄도 미사일 세 발을 발사하였으며 이중한 발이 NLL 이남 동해상에 낙탄되었음. 이번 북한 미사일 발사는 분단 이후 처음으로 NLL 이남 우리 영해 근접에 떨어진 것으로 매우 이례적이고 결코 용납할 수 없음. President Yoon Suk Yeol condemned North Korea's provocation and called it an effective territorial invasion. A media report put the number of missiles as 17, the most number of missiles fired by Pyongyang in a day. The missiles were fired from Wonsan, a port city in the east of the Korean peninsula. Three short-range missiles were fired into the East Sea and another one landed in the sea, 26 kilometers south of the northern limit line a disputed maritime border that demarcates the two Koreas. Another longer-range missile headed towards the volcanic island of Yulong, prompting authorities to trigger an air raid siren and evacuate residents. The North's latest launches came with South Korea in a period of national mourning after more than 150 people were killed in a crowd crush in Seoul. North Korea said its move was triggered by the South Korea-US military drills that are conducted between October 31st and November 4th. Dubbed Vigilant Storm, the training event sees the participation of over 240 aircraft and thousands of service members and will fly nearly 1,600 sorties. The North views it as a rehearsal for an invasion of its territory and has termed the exercises as a war drill for aggression. It said, quote, if the U.S. and South Korea attempt to use armed forces against the DPRK, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, without any fear, the special means of the DPRK's armed forces will carry out their strategic mission without delay and the U.S. and South Korea will have to pay the most horrible price in history, unquote. Pyongyang's latest test firing might be an effort by Kim to lay the groundwork for his first nuclear test in five years. In June 2018, South Korea and the U.S. had agreed to suspend joint military exercises to give diplomatic efforts with North Korea every opportunity to continue. On September 18, 2018, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un and South Korea's President Moon Jae-in signed the Pyongyang Joint Declaration, which among other points agreed on closer economic cooperation and better communication to prevent military escalations. However, the talks fell apart soon after. And over the years, North Korea has stepped up its nuclear posturing, firing several missiles towards South Korea and Japan just this year. The US and Japan have slammed North Korea. A US department spokesperson said the launches are in violation of multiple UN Security Council resolutions. It also threatens peace and stability in the region. Experts say that North Korea's missile launches appeared to be the most aggressive and threatening armed demonstration against the South since 2010. Will this lead to armed conflict? For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.